Briggs and Stratton, Rapture 3, Found in a Barn. Well, actually, it was found in a shed after 21 years. This is an original Briggs and Stratton, Raptor 3 race engine, model 135-230, built in March of 1997, purchased in August of 1997, and installed on a custom-built yard cart, ran for two summers, and parked in a shed where it sat until this year. Unfortunately, the shed roof had leaked, and there was water in the gas tank, the carburetor, and the intake valve. So the engine was completely disassembled, cleaned, and inspected. The bore, piston, rod, crank, and valves were all measured. And I'll have those specifications down in the video description. This is a cool bore engine with a roller bearing on the PTO side. This is an original, unmodified Raptor engine. There have been no head work, no port work, no eyebrows removed, none of that stuff. It has stock bore, original piston, rod, crank, head, although we did have to replace the intake valve. We also replaced both valve springs, retainers, and valve tappets using original Briggs & Stratton parts. What you are seeing here are photos taken of the whole process. The engine was reassembled using the original blower housing. As you can see, it is untouched. We didn't sand it, paint it, nothing. Just left it like we found it. Now the fuel tank was rusted beyond any kind of repair. We could not salvage it. The original carb is in pretty bad shape as well, although I still have the carburetor. So what we did was build a custom aluminum intake and install a stock Predator carburetor on it so we could get it running. We installed the motor on the old yard cart so we had a place for it to run. It was sitting out and outside in the sun uh, but I couldn't see the screen on the phone to record it so I rolled it in the shop. This is just showing you that this is a, a cold start. First start of the day. Like I said, got it mounted on this cart. We got a diaphragm fuel pump set up. probably need some break-in time. It's only just sat there in idle. We didn't have any way of driving it on the cart to load it.
that's it folks thank you for watching